the road car and this car both start with the same exact unibody that's built by the factory. As soon as the unibody is built though, this one gets taken over to the race shop. They put a roll cage in it and they build it from there out with, I'd say probably 70% different parts. It has a lot of very close similarities as we'll see, but it's definitely not the same as the street car. I think the biggest differences are probably three things. The weight, uh, the weight of the drive line, and then the tires. The grip levels and the acceleration is much, much higher in the race car simply because the car is lighter, the drive line is lighter, things speed up faster, and then of course the racing tires that we run uh, would be catastrophic on the street. You never get them warm enough to even make a corner. But once you go on the racetrack, do a couple turns, get them hot, the grip level is nothing like a street tire, no matter how good it is. These Continental race tires are phenomenal. learn not just the differences in this car from the cars that I've raced before but this year everyone in our series went to the new GT3 spec so there's a new spec to learn as well as new cars but uh, it's the same Continental tire we've run for the last five six years and it's phenomenal there so we just had to learn the nuances of the car and kind of get the team working together and uh, trying to figure out how to make this piece as good as we can make it on and off pit road and on the racetrack. And then you can see here, the hood extracts air as well. So anytime we can take air from low in the racetrack and put it up over the car, the resulting effect is the car gets pushed down the ground and we get more downforce. So uh, that's one thing that they do. The hood opening is different here, the splitter and these little whiskers on the side. Looking at the wheels and the brakes, uh, you know, it's actually very similar to the street car. We, we run ABS. We uh, probably have a smaller wheel than some of the street cars at 18 inches. And uh, it's, it's just probably, the difference is the tire and sidewall. We have these air extractors to help kind of get some of the air from underneath the front, out and up. This is another piece from the street where you probably scrape it a good amount if you were to go over some curbs or things like that, speed bumps. But on the racetrack where it's not quite billiard smooth, but as close as it can be, this extracts a lot of air from the bottom and helps the rear wing. And of course the rear wing is new. We run these telescoping, I think it's called periscope uh, mounts, and that keeps the air underneath the wing clean and only uses the top to mount and that's just a minimal drag. The part under the wing is really what we're worried about and that's why we run this type of mount. And then uh, everything else is probably looks pretty similar. You know, we uh, use a lot of streetcar parts, especially the taillights and uh, things like that. The difference, like I said, is just the tires, the lightness and the lightness of the drive through. Now we have a long straightaway here and that's good for our car because aerodynamically we actually have very low drag. One of the reasons why we we're a really good race car at Daytona is because in the long straightaways, anytime we click six gear and stay in six gear for a while, uh, this car excels. It's very low, it's very, uh, very small hole, it pokes in the air. So aerodynamically, drag-wise, we're very light and we can still make a decent amount of downforce despite not having a lot of drag. We were P6 and P2, so we're moving up. Uh, we're getting a little closer to the front. Uh, you know, this, um, this type of racing is very competitive. And every time we go out on the racetrack, everyone wants to try to be first. There's very few cars that can't win the race in our class. So uh, anytime you're near the front, it's good. And I think what we're really focusing on is race pace and getting a good race car for the race. But I think we have that and uh, we're just going to be fine tuning maybe tomorrow. Hopefully have a good run in qualifying and see how we can start in the front. <laughs>